copper. Do I have to eat this? No, 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 not this type of copper. Let's go learn about copper you can eat. Dietary copper is important in the development of red blood cells, healthy bones, healthy nerves, and boosts the immune system. Along with being essential in making red blood cells, copper oxidizes glucose and releases energy, helps to absorb iron, increases energy level, and aids in nerve and blood functions. Believe it or not, you need to eat copper to keep your body running smoothly. No way! I can't eat these! You can eat all of this. These are good sources of dietary copper, and it's healthy for lots of different body functions. This is delicious! If I need to have copper, I'll just eat tons and tons of this. No way! You can't eat too much. It can be toxic. Toxic? Does that mean I'm going to die? No, probably not, but you can get very ill. Most of those people who have toxic levels of copper inheritance of the disease. Most likely, you're deficient. Let's just see Dr. Element. He'll know what to do. Bring on the lobster with a side of asparagus, throw in some sesame seeds, and maybe a potato, and you've got your entire day's worth of dietary copper. Are you over 18? You need 900 micrograms a day. Please, tell me what's wrong. Well, Dr. Element, I've been having a lot of stomach cramps. I seem to be getting more infections, and I feel tired all the time. I feel depressed and have head and muscle, muscle aches pretty often. Well, it's hard to detect. But it's possible that your copper levels are low, which probably means that your zinc levels are down too, since they happen at the same time. We'll start with a blood test, but the only real way to know is with the 24-hour urine copper test to measure urine ex copper excretion in storage. Copper is digested in the stomach and small intestines, then stored in the liver. It has to travel on proteins to move it around. Deficiency results in iron deficiency anemia, blood vessels that rupture easily causing bruising, bone and joint problems, elevated LDL and low HDL cholesterol levels, frequent infections, loss of hair or skin color, fatigue, difficulty breathing, and even skin sores. Too much copper, that's Wilson's disease. It's an inherited disorder where copper builds up in the body tissues, especially the liver, brain, kidneys, and eyes. It causes damage and death to the tissues. The treatment for this is chelation. Too little copper, now you have Menke's disease, an inability to absorb copper. This is typically fatal in infancy due to severe cerebral degeneration and arterial changes. One treatment is possible, though it can only extend life about three to 10 years. Yes, you indeed have a copper deficiency. Oh no, what would I do? Well, be thankful it's low instead of high. Otherwise, you could die without chelation. Since your copper level is low, we can fix it by changing some of the foods that you eat. Phew, then let's bring on the lobster. Ready for your test questions? Name two functions of dietary copper. True or false, Menke's disease is an inherited disorder that causes copper levels to be too high. Name two of the foods that are high in dietary copper. Copper is mainly stored in the kidney, brain, blood, or liver. The common treatment for copper toxicity is to take dietary supplements, reduce zinc, 
chelation or radiation. Kind of copper you need to eat. Let's learn about. Well, how do you say that word? Dietary. Dietary. Copper. Copper. Okay. Right. Believe it or not, you need to eat copper. <laughs> it's okay. No, wait. You can't eat too much. It's. It could be. It. It could be toxic. It could be toxic. Toxic. Does that mean it'll kill me? You can eat all of this. They're all good sources of. Dietary copper. Dietary. Uh, dietary. Just say Action. Where do I get copper? Do I have to eat this? No, no, no. Nope, it's not in the camera. This. No. I like this. Hi. If I need copper, I'll just eat tons and tons of this. No, wait. <laughs> you can't eat too much. It could be toxic. Oh, man. I'm touching it! Don't it! Ah! Bodie, is that you? Get down! <laughs>